Today I have another book outlet haul. I know, surprise, surprise. Um, but this one is kind of special because <laughs> there are so many amazing Usborne books in this in this haul. Hi guys, I'm Kaylee from Love Learning Every Day, and welcome to this amazing book haul. Uh, it is full of amazing book outlet choices, a ton of Usborne books that I was not expecting. Um, and I do want to thank you guys before we get into it. Thank you for using my book outlet link uh, whenever, if you ever decide to make a purchase and you're new, it really does help me out. And I'm, I wouldn't have been able to get some of these books without that. So thank you so, so much. Um, and I will have a link down below if you choose, no pressure. Um, and yeah, let's kind of get into it. If you're new to book outlet, they basically, uh, buy overstocked books and then resell them at a big discount. So Usborne is not a typical publisher that I have seen very often, uh, but they do still have some stuff. They might not have everything that I've gotten uh, because it did seem to sell out fairly quickly, but they still have quite a bit of Usborne fun stuff. So in any case, uh, let's get into the actual video. So this is Usborne Graphic Classics Dracula. Um, we are not currently doing this as a theme or anything, although maybe next Halloween we will, but it was a really good deal. Um, I will say not as good of a deal as some things on Book Outlet. The Usborne titles were definitely a little bit more pricey, um, but it's hard to find good Usborne uh, discounts on that. So I would think this was around $5 or so. I do believe these are all overstocked from the um, London, England uh publisher, not the MLM that's in the United States. So some things might be a little bit different and I will show you that. But yeah, so I'm very happy with that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm very excited to be able to use this maybe next year as part of a unit. We're doing Frankenstein this Halloween, but maybe next Halloween we'll do Dracula. And my son just loves graphic novels. He reads them like nobody's business. So I thought this would be a fun one. Yeah. And if you guys have been following my book outlet hauls, or if just you've been following my channel at all, you'll know that we are doing Shakespeare. Now I do have kind of a similar Shakespeare book um, that I thought might even be the same, but it's very, very different. So I'll have to do a comparison when I film all of our Shakespeare resources and everything. But the American version of this Shakespeare sticker book from Usborne is a little bit different. And yeah, it just seems really fun. So we'll be doing just, here's a, the contents if you want to see. We're just going to be doing A Midsummer Night's Dream. We might be doing like Shakespeare at School and London Life and at the Playhouse. We'll see which ones we do from there. But this will be nice to keep for a while. And then every year when we do a new play, we get to add to that. So that'll be really fun. And all the stickers are in the back. So yeah. Super exciting. This title I was excited about. Uh, mostly, we are doing animals this year as a unit. So this is the Weird and Wonderful Animals of the Ice Age. And my goodness, is this just so much fun. And so cool and interactive. So let me see, because there are some flaps and stuff. As you can see, this is a large book and it splits it up by continent that I really love. Here, oh yeah, here's a huge flap. So let's see if you guys, it's hard to get everything in frame, but really, really fun book. Hopefully they still have it because my son is obsessed with it. <laughs> he has flipped through this more times than I could count. Um, yeah, so much fun. And yeah, so I think that'll be really fun to learn. I don't know if we're specifically learning about the Ice Age in any thing that we're doing, but we are extensively learning about animals, so I thought this would be a fun resource. Okay, then I got The Animal World, The Amazing Connections and Diversity Found in the Animal Family Tree. So I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't love this cover. I think it's honestly kind of ugly, <laughs> but I really loved the title. And I tried to look it up on Amazon and see what reviews were and what people thought. And inside, it is so pretty. So I'm really happy we got it, especially once we start going through more specific 
types of animals. I think this will be just an amazing resource. The pictures are just, ugh, just really gorgeous, or I guess drawings rather, um, but these are so fun. And it tells you the similarities that each family has. Um, yeah, and I, so cool. Really glad I got it. I'm, I really still wish it had a different cover. I just, ugh, I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> and then I got this book, the Olympic Games sticker book. And honestly, we didn't do this at all. I planned on doing it for, and again, this is another Usborne book. I planned on doing this for the Summer Olympics. And although we did a ton of Olympic stuff, I just completely forgot. All these books have just been kind of sitting um, in a corner of our homeschool room. And my husband's like, you just need to film that video so you can put those books away. And I was like, yeah. And I completely forgot until this point, but it does seem really fun. Uh, we will be doing, the Winter Olympics is not far away for sure, so we will be doing this for the Winter Games, and we can even have this for years and years and do a little bit every time, so really fun. I don't think it's year uh, specific, it's just in general different popular games and stuff, so yeah, I am excited about this. I wish we would have used this, but oh well. <laughs> so... I got this because of a different one that I will show you guys in a little bit, but this is part of a series. So this is a Seek and Find classic book, and oh my gosh, I love it so much. I think there were three that I will show you the other ones, but there's the Jungle Book. There is, um, I think, Alice in Wonderland and A Christmas Carol. Um, and I want to go back and get the one that we don't have, but it just... It's the pictures are beautiful and then I love that you can find out more and it goes with a story so every part you can have it or you can even have them look while you're reading that part of the story. I got the Jungle Book specifically because uh, we're doing animals so I thought we might end up choosing this book for a read aloud at some point but yeah I just it's so beautiful. I really really like it. Um, yeah I hope they still have some of these on Book Outlet because I want to get them all. <laughs> and then we have Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. For Christmas, I wanted to do a really fun unit and I thought this one would be perfect. So if we do A Christmas Carol, I just think there's so many great things that we can do. Um, if the world is better or vaccines or whatever, maybe we can even go see this as a play. We saw that in Branson, Missouri one time and it was really, really amazing. But there's so many great movies and adaptions and yeah, so I got this picture book. I normally don't buy that many picture books just because I already have so many, <laughs> so, so many at this point. Um, but I thought it would be nice and this would be a good one to keep all this time and the pictures are really nice so yeah and here we have our second seek and find classic so the one I definitely want to get the Alice in Wonderland one now and if there's even more I would definitely want to get that so this would be fun as like a addition to the book oh my gosh or I don't I don't think we're doing the whole book obviously um that'd be go over my kid's head but um but I think this would be so fun as a addition to our unit study on that, on A Christmas Carol. The pictures are just so beautiful. Um, and I think really help you get a better idea of the story. Yeah. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> These ones are so cute. And they're nice hardcover books as well. And they have shiny foil on them. Yeah, love them. <laughs> Then we have uh, Usborne Activities Sticker First World War, and I just love Usborne uh, sticker books, especially when they bring in actual information. I will say, I don't know if I'm super happy with this one, just because I just, I just don't know. <laughs> Obviously, war is, is not a fun sticker time activity type of thing, and it's, I just don't know. Um... But it is well done. There is some, uh, like, some text that explains things, and then you can dress them 
um, how they're supposed to be dressed. So it is educational in that way. I just, you know, it's not, <laughs> maybe the subject isn't my favorite to be in this kind of format, you know? Um, but yeah, here's, here's a bunch of other ones that they have. Ooh, I didn't know they had sticker Greek myths. I definitely want that one. Um, but yeah, it was super cool. And then I got this one, which in addition, this is Sticker World Wars. So I think this includes both of them. So this might be double, but I do have two kids. So if they want to both do it, I will say, yeah, like this page specifically, D-Day. You know, they're just like carefully getting off the boats, um, which I wouldn't want it to be gruesome either. I just, I don't know what I was expecting when I got this book, but I don't think it's exactly what I was hoping for. Um... But I think we'll still like it and use it. I just, I don't want to make a joke out of it, you know? Or a cutesy activity out of war. Because it is very serious. Um, but yeah, so we have those. And then I got this Osborne Activity sticker dressing spooky. We will be doing the Frankenstein one because we're doing Frankenstein for Halloween. Um, and it's just so fun. Let me find Frankenstein. I think all the... Ooh, Swamp Monster. Right, let's just see. Um, okay, I feel like I'm missing it. Monster Laboratory must be. I was like, I did not see. Yes. Okay. So we will be doing this for uh, this year. And then I thought this would be just a really good way to be able to pick other Halloween fun themes. So they have Dracula. We'll do that at some point. Um, and eventually if we stop doing this, then that's fine. They can just do this for fun too. Um, but yeah, <laughs> some of them are just like silly. Yeah. This one, super fun. I like it. And then again, I got this one, which is, isn't this, this is less educational. Then anything, I already let them do some of the stuff because I'm not sure we're doing anything on the Ice Age specifically. Um, like here's one. So they got to put stickers wherever they wanted. Um, and they're just scenes that you can make up. And there's some text, but not much educational wise. So pretty fun. And a nice little, <laughs> this one my daughter did. She, she wanted them all just stacked together, I guess. But yeah, so we got this one. And if we decide to do a bigger like Ice Age unit, then this is good as well. So yeah. Okay, I am trying to go so slow. I know this is taking forever. Um, and then we have Usborne History of the World in 100 stickers. Again, I'm not sure when we would use this. I just couldn't pass up, on, especially on activity books. A lot of books I can get from the library, but activity books are just, I just can't, you know? Um, especially sticker books. You kind of use them and then, I mean, we'll get more use out of them with all the great text and everything. But, um, and I think all these like more faded images are gonna be stickers. Let's see. But when we start world history, I thought this would be a great addition. I think it goes in chronological order. Yeah, so this will be fun to add as we go because eventually we'll be going through with Curiosity Chronicles and I really like that, so nice. Then we have Usborne Pompeii sticker book. Again, did I need this one? No. Are we doing this at any point anytime soon? No. Um, are we doing this ever? Probably. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but again, it was so nice. I, I don't remember how much these were. Um, and again, I would think like a couple dollars, like maybe three dollars, four dollars. I'm not sure. Um, and hopefully they have some of their fun sticker books left because I do really love them and I like that they're educational. Yeah, so really fun. So I have heard a lot of great things about horrible histories. Uh, I have never read any of those books. We don't have them. Uh, however, I think eventually we probably will. And this is a sticker activity book to go with those. So this is Awful Egyptians and it's fun little stickers that you have to 
this one's a lot more um, more activity, less open-ended it looks like. But yeah, I think this will be fun. Ooh, looks like, yeah. And there's quizzes. Then we have Horrible Histories, Rotten Romans. Again, I think they'll like this. Yeah, super fun. And <laughs> the Usborne Castle sticker book. So I promise I didn't just get sticker books, but a lot of what I'm showing you right now in this stack apparently is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this seems super fun, especially when we do like medieval time you know I think will be really fun that's going to be a couple years from now for us um currently like I said we're doing around the world in animals but this will be amazing and fun to add to it so yeah that's why I really love like stocking book outlet because you never know when some really amazing books are going to drop. So they are, my kids are currently not learning Arabic. However, uh, my husband, he does that as a pretty big portion of his job. He's in the military. Um, and I learned some as well. So I feel like at some point they might want a resource like this. And I don't see too many Arabic resources, especially um, geared this young that often. So I, I definitely wanted to pick it up. I remember having one of these. I lived in Germany when I was little and I had a German one of these that I would just flip through and read and really liked. So yeah. Okay, so we finished the first stack, and now we're on to the second stack, and I'll try to do these all sort of quickly. You guys probably wanted me to go through the sticker books quicker, too, but um, I got a ton of these Blast Back books. They're really, like, fun size, um, not quite chapter book, kind of, like, more square than rectangle, um, and I really like them. They have good amount of words and pictures where it's still engaging and fun and it doesn't take too long and there's still a good amount of information. Um, I will say I have not read these yet, so I can't give like full glowing recommendations or anything. Um, but from what I've seen, they seem really nice and reviews were really good on these. So I got Blast Back the Great Wall of China, Blast Back Vikings, and my son already read this one and he really liked it. So yeah, super fun. Uh, Blast Back the Space Race, Blast Back the Titanic, Blast Back Women's Suffrage, Blast Back uh, Pearl Harbor, Blast Back the Civil War, Blast Back World War II, Blast Back the Statue of Liberty, Blast Back the Civil Rights Movement, Blast Back the Salem Witch Trials, and finally, Blast Back Ancient Egypt. So I thought this would just be really great. I don't have many nonfiction uh, early chapter books for my son. Um, probably in fiction, he could read more, like more text per picture ratio or, you know, no pictures altogether. But because he's new to the world of nonfiction, and that's one of our big goals this year, is branching out and really finding out what genre uh, he likes to read and likes, um, I think this will be a good fit. So I'm happy with it for sure. I also like that it's all by the same person and drawn by the same person as opposed to the Who Was series. I've heard some negative reviews of them, but it's because they go through different authors. So although most of the authors are really great, I've heard some have some not that great reviews. So hopefully we end up really liking these and then can trust this author in the future. But yeah. Next we have A Midsummer Night's Dream. I know I can't get through a book outlet haul without showing you guys uh, more Shakespeare and A Midsummer Night's Dream stuff specifically. So this is an Usborne Young Reader and I really like it. I already got a different Young, young Reader of Midsummer's Night Dream but I thought 
because we're planning on probably doing this the longest that my son could read several and we could talk about the differences and stuff. But yeah, I really like this one. And I like that it has the characters in the front so you don't get confused. Yeah, really fun. Now, like I said, we are doing Frankenstein. Um, and I really like to get resources that are at my level as well. So this is Frankenstein in Baghdad. It's a Man Booker International Prize finalist. So it is fairly gruesome, the story. So I'll have you look it up because um, I, I don't want to gross anybody out or anything. But I am really excited about this one. And I've heard really great things about it. So, yeah. And here we have another Midsummer's Night Dream read aloud that I have picked. And we have so many of these. So I'm not sure we'll get through all of them, but I just couldn't resist. This one looked so beautiful. Midsummer's Mayhem. And this is kind of a similar story to it in that they find kind of some different ingredients for cooking and then kind of everybody romantically gets entangled all strange. So I thought this was fun. I love middle grade books. I just think they're so sweet. Um, they're some of my favorite, even to read as an adult. But yeah. Yeah, so we'll see if we get to this one. And it's nice hardcover book. Um, normally $16.99 that I think we got for like three, four dollars. So yay. Okay, <laughs> then we have what is the story of Frankenstein? Again, I thought this would be super fun um, and hopefully we end up liking it. Um, but this has nice text per page. I would say this one has more text than the Blast Back series does, um, which is fun. I would do this one as a read aloud anyway, I would assume. Maybe I would give it to my son to read, um, but I would assume I'd want my daughter to be exposed to this as well. And as you can see, this was at Walmart for $6.28. That's fun, so there's a little timeline you can take out too. I think these books are always like $3, $2, something like that, so pretty good deal. Okay another Usborne reader. This is level three, Frankenstein. It says with activities and free audio. Um, so that sounds fun. But yeah, again, this would be great for my son or me. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do the Frankenstein unit yet, just because there's a little bit less resources than some other things that I've found. But yeah, this one will be really fun. And a couple more Frankenstein things to show you. This one just looked really cute. Um, and I just wanted a simple picture book that would be fun. Um, and this is a Calden Knot horror book. That's so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just a very basic one. I thought this would be great to just introduce the story maybe or just kind of get people familiar <laughs> with kind of the fun themes in Frankenstein. Um, because we're definitely going to be focusing less on the sad and um, isolating and gruesome themes and more on the fun, silly things that now it has become for children. And then we have She Made a Monster, How Mary Shelley Created Frankenstein. Again, this is a super nice hardcover book um, that was originally $17.99 that I think was like a dollar, $2.00. Um, this is part of the reason that I wanted to do Frankenstein in the first place is I kept seeing this on Book Outlet and was like, oh, that would be so much fun to do. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, super, super cool. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so we are on our last stack of books. <laughs> I'm glad we're done. I've been filming for a while. Um, but this is Making the Monster, the Science Behind Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This is, again, another book for me that I thought would be fun. I doubt, honestly, I'm going to read this all. Um, I am a really big reader. I'm not a big nonfiction reader in person. Um, but I do think I'll like to skim this for sure. And, I mean, obviously, the, the ideal is to read this. <laughs> but we'll see. It does seem pretty, pretty, I guess not so chunky, but chunkier than I typically read for nonfiction for sure. Now I have Usborne Illustrated English Thesaurus and I cannot tell you how wonderful this is. It is seriously amazing. Um, we have already used it a ton 
my son has really loved looking it up things and seeing. I will say it's not like the most illustrated thesaurus. I don't think it's wonderful or anything um, as far as is this the one you need? I'd probably say no. You don't. You definitely don't need the Usborne one. Uh, there are some cute illustrations. Most of it's not though. Um, but just having a thesaurus I didn't think would become so handy. But it really, really has. So I'm really... Yeah, so I'm very happy that I got it for sure. Yeah. Then we have, I think this is the only read aloud that I have picked, like actual chunkier read aloud. And this is The Mortification of Fave Munson. So I'll have to look up how to say this, but yeah, it seems really fun. I think her parents have something to do with Frankenstein, if I'm not mistaken. I definitely could be. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this one seems fun. True, her parents own a cadaver lab where they perform surgeries on dead bodies. And yes, they make her gross. That makes her gross by association, at least according to everyone in seventh grade. And sure, Favia is stuck working at the lab now that her summer camp plans have fallen through. But she is by no means Dr. Frankenstein's sniffling assistant. That is, until the disembodied heads left to thaw in the wet, uh, left to thaw in the wet lab start talking to her out loud. This is a story about finding oneself, finding one's friends, and embracing the moment. This just seems so cute. Yeah. There is not any pictures that I can tell, um, but I think we can get through this, especially if this is our only read aloud, um, and I'm excited about it. This one, amazing. You see it? Super chunky, but it's a choose your own path, um, which is super fun. I will say I have not read through it all, so I don't know how age appropriate is. My son is very good at, if he sees anything that he thinks might not be appropriate, he's very good at showing it to me. Um, but he's gone through this several times and it doesn't seem so bad. Obviously there's death <laughs> so um, and stuff like that, but more cartoony and silly than uh, scary, I would imagine, but that's totally going to depend on your kid. Um, and I really, really like this. I think the author has one other, yeah, he has Romeo and or Juliet, which I think would also be fun. I might get that one and just not give it to him yet because I imagine that one has a little bit more intense themes, but I could be wrong. I'll have to look. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, some of the pictures are intense. He did this many times and he picked the king and died. And <laughs> it was really funny. Um, but in any case, I really, really like this. Um, if you have older kids especially, I wish they had a Midsummer's Night Dream because I would be all over it. But um, this one is good as well. Now we have another activity book. This is Usborne STEM Maths Scribble Book. So that's how you can tell it's definitely um, English. You know, it's, it's from England. It's not American. Um, but yeah, this one just seems fun. And this my son is just allowed to do it anytime. It's kind of been, like I said, kind of stuck in those that group of books. I think he's done some things. Um, I'm not sure what. He might not have really done. He started coloring in this, I guess. Um, but like I said, it's really been just in a stack of books. But all the pages are very colorful and fun. And lots of little just math puzzles and stuff like that. So really, really cool. Very happy with this one. This one I'm very happy with too. They are begging to do this one. Um, but yeah, we're doing we're doing animals this year. And part of that is dinosaurs. Um, one of the sections is. So I thought this would be just a fun, super fun addition. It has four different kinds and the paper tells you what kind it is uh, to figure out how to fold. It has like, see, so you follow that symbol and then fold it how it says and it shows on the place how to fold it we will see how well my kids can do by themselves with this i imagine this will be a definite helping activity but because there's a hundred i hope i hope i can help with the first 10 or so and then they kind of get it but we will see this seems really fun though a lot of paper clutter but fun in the meantime for sure lots of really fun patterns as well so yeah I don't know if I have said this this um, 
in this video, but if you've been following us or our other, or any of my other book outlet hauls, uh, you would know that we're doing around the world. So, <laughs> um, I got these travel quiz cards and they seem really fun. Uh, yeah, the only thing I don't love about it is all the answers are on one paper. So you kind of have to go, so it makes it good for not cheating, I guess. But as far as like going back to the answers, I think it's a little bit harder to see. Um, but these are really nice, like thick cardboard type of questions. And I thought this would just be a fun addition to do, you know, every couple weeks or so. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. And then we also have animal quiz cards. Um, I'll get them out for you. <laughs> I'll say they're a little bit hard to put back in the box. The last one that I did, same thing, just one answer card or two. Um, oh yeah, three. So there's probably a lot of answer cards in the other one too. Um, and then they're kind of split up into different sections. So really fun and colorful and engaging. So really like these ones as well. And <laughs> the very last book is Timelines of World History. This has been an Usborne book that I've wanted to get for a long time. Um, and it just hasn't been necessary and yeah. <laughs> um, but when it, this was on Book Outlet, um, and hopefully it's still on there, I was very happy. <laughs> I instantly put it in the cart for sure. Um, this is a very popular book, so I'm not sure if they still have it. But what's really cool about this is it goes through by the years, so 10,000 to 2001 BC, and then it goes through each section. So this is what's happening in Europe during that time. This is what's happening in the Middle East, in Africa, in Asia, in the Americas, so that you can kind of get an idea of what's happening everywhere and how they're relating or just being able to place things in history better. Um, and it's just really pretty. I love this page too. Um, and although these groups don't always stay the same on how they do it, I think it's really nice. So here they've split up Europe for the Middle Ages um, and they've lumped some things together. So yeah. And then when you get further, I think even, yeah, America and Australasia <laughs> is how they put it. Um, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to knock you there, um, but yeah. Super fun. Oop, again. Didn't mean to knock you. But yeah, so then it gets... Some of the, like I said, labels don't say the same, but it's nice just to kind of have a really good overview of what's happening in each, in each place, from the Stone Age to the Millennium. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Thank you guys for your continual support. Um, if you are new to Book Outlet, definitely check out my link down below or somebody else's link. But it gets you $10 off, gets me $10 off. Great deal. I really love Book Outlet for getting really amazing, cheap books. Definitely be on the lookout. Their deals always change. So the time that you're looking right now might not be the best deal. I think I've seen as good as 30% off, but they always have different kinds of deal. Maybe like buy two, get one free. Thank you guys so, so much. And before I go, uh, definitely let me know down below, do you guys love unboxings where I'm more surprised what I'm going through? Or do you like an overhead view so that you can actually look through the books and hear more about them? Um, definitely let me know because um, I'm probably going to be having other unboxings or hauls at some point. And I would love to know your guys' opinion. But thank you guys so, so much for all the support and love. Um, and I'll see you guys in another video.